Jesus said, I am the light. Jesus triumphed over evil, sin and darkness and death. Perhaps you're thinking, well, it doesn't feel like that very much at the moment. We're under the attack of this invisible enemy, coronavirus. And perhaps you have issues with your health or the health of someone that you know. Perhaps you're struggling because of uncertainty about your job or career or your education, your exams or at school. And you can't do or you simply just can't do the things that you want to be able to do. But take heart. The decisive battle is won. The enemy will continue to fight and cause as much evil and suffering as he can. But when the end times come, God will finally vanquish all evil from the world. Evil will be completely eliminated. Evil has no place in God's eternal perfect rest. But the Bible tells us that this victory isn't only for the future. We as Christians can enter into that victory today. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57. Thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus. So how can we enter into victory through Jesus? Well, if we trust in Jesus, our sins are forgiven. And that means that the devil can no longer tell us that we don't deserve God and that we will always carry our shame. No, we are forgiven because of the cross. There is power in forgiveness. We are restored to God. We give thanks to God for the victory of the cross. And the victory isn't only in the cross. The victory is also in the resurrection. Jesus rose from the grave. Ephesians 1 verse 19 to 22 reminds us that that same power that lifted Jesus from the grave is available to us today. No power of darkness can come close to that. So whatever happens to us in this life, nothing can separate us from Jesus, from his love. He will be for us through death and we will be with him in eternity. Finally, we can tap into that power today. We can ask God for the power of his Holy Spirit to help us to choose what is right. To help us to transform ourselves and others and our world, as Michael was preaching last week. So if you feel that you're in a bit of a battle at the moment, flip a few pages forward to the end of the book. Remind yourself how the story ends. Come out of episode three, but watch episode six again. Remind yourself that God has won the greatest battle against evil. Jesus has won the victory. Be confident in God's good, victorious over evil. And be part of the transformation of Halloween. I don't think people are likely to be coming to your door this year. Um, if you live in Wales, that is, because we're locked down. I would normally be ready with a small array of uh, sweets and also a stash of pencils with light the night with Jesus or live as children of light to give to anyone who came to my door. But this year we can still transform Halloween by carving a heart or a cross or a symbol of God's love into a pumpkin, lighting it up to show that we are celebrating the light of Jesus that overcomes the darkness. And we can be confident in God's light, stronger than any darkness. Keep watching the service to find out more. Let's end in prayer. God, thank you that your light is stronger than darkness. Thank you that your goodness, your good, is stronger than evil. Thank you, Lord, that you have overcome death and sin. Thank you, Lord, that we can enter into that that we can know victory in Jesus in our own lives to some degree. And we pray, Lord, that we would know that more and more. Come Holy Spirit, I pray. Remind us of our eternal future and your victory. Remind us that good wins. And Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit, I pray, to help us to be part of the transformation of our world. 
Transform us, Lord, I pray. Transform others, Lord, I pray through us. And Lord, we pray that you would transform this world to your glory and to your goodness. In Jesus' name. Amen.